to the Femi vlog. This vlog is brought to you by Nike. So it's Friday, the 12th of November, and I am on my way to our first run, community run for Femi. So I'm so excited to meet everyone, and I'm going to bring you guys along. Good morning. It is Saturday. Tomorrow we are four weeks out from the Nike Melbourne Marathon. Yesterday we had our first Femi Run community run um, in Melbourne here and it was so cool just to like meet girls and run with them and everyone was so nice and yeah it was cool. I really loved that. Um, and today yeah, is Saturday so that means long run day. I am aiming to do like two and a half hours with a block of marathon pace work within it. So yeah, it should be a bit of a tough run, but also I um, have to do it by myself, which is gonna be really hard. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you know, running two and a half hours by yourself is hard enough, but then when you're trying to push the pace, it's like mm, tough. But yeah, so it's all good. I'm gonna try and do it this morning. My training partner has got an inflamed ITB, which sucks. I'm gutted for him, but I hopefully he can get back for the race. Um, that's the plan. So yeah, I'm just gonna go get ready, do some stretching. I need to warm up properly because my ITB and my knees are a little bit sore today. <laughs> I'm hoping that they'll be okay. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get ready and I'll take you guys on my long run with me and take you along for the next couple of weeks of training. All right, let's go again. on which feel great but look so clean <laughs> i say that running shoes aren't real running shoes until they're dirty so we'll see what they look like when they get back okay now they're running shoes wow <laughs> the front of them are so i'm not gonna lie it's been about five hours since i told you i was going for my run that didn't take me five hours to run i did not run for five hours i just waited for probably like two or three hours when i went to go running it was pouring with rain and i did get a little bit wet but definitely not as bad as it was when i stepped outside so i just hung out and ate some more food and then i just did 30k so probably not the distance i was gonna do but you know i was out there by myself i added in some fire lick, so i did like an hour and a half steady then i did half an hour of one minute hard one minute easy and then jogged at home so all in all, it was, it was a good run. Probably not the one that I was um, expecting, but still a good session to get done, especially by myself. And now I'm going to have some protein, some electrolyte, and just chill out. I swear my neighbours must hate me so much. I wake up at like 5.30 every morning and I bang around. Anyway, it's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. I... I'm drinking coffee, I've had some toast, and I'm about to go out into a longish run. I'm changing things up this week, so we're four weeks out, just under four weeks out, and I am in my late luteal phase. So my hormones are high and they're about to crash, and I don't want to do anything that's too intense this week. So instead of doing intensity, I'm really focusing on a little bit more mileage and building a little bit more endurance speed before I get to the marathon. So this week, I'm actually doing three days of quite high mileage. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm doing like a 90 minute block of running um, in the morning, which will include a marathon effort tempo, which will be like anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes, depending on how I feel. And then a half an hour run at night. So it's two hours of running each day. It should be around maybe 26 Ks, 25, 26 Ks a day. And yeah, I'm like kind of excited for it because the session isn't too fast. Like the tempo isn't fast, so it's really achievable, but it's just the mileage and time on feet that will make it hard. So yeah, that's the next three days that you guys will be coming along on. And yeah, next weekend is three weeks, which is like almost pretty much taper time, which is exciting. 
I'm sorry, I didn't actually talk to you after my run. I pretty much just got into the shower. But here I am, back in my bed. It's like 9am and I've run 20Ks and I didn't feel good. So I decided that I need to focus more on recovery. So I'm in bed, I'm gonna do some work and um, just chill in here for maybe an hour or something. Yeah, I find if I can prioritize rec recovery over the next four weeks, then that's a massive win. And that's really gonna help me when it comes to race day. So. I'm in bed at 9am and I'm not sorry about it. Thursday and I just finished my last run of this three-day block so I've been doing like 20 to 21 k's with a bit of marathon specific work within it like 20 to 25 minutes up tempo at marathon pace ideally I didn't quite hit marathon pace with some of them it's fine I've done like five or six k jog in the afternoon this morning I actually did it in the morning so it's currently like 1 30 here and I just ran in the middle of the day and it's weird vibes. I wouldn't usually run at that time. But my friend couldn't run this morning so we pushed our run back, which is fine. So yeah, I should have probably, I've covered, I would say anywhere between 75 and 80K in the last three days. So it's been a big block. I'm stoked that I've done it and I'm actually not feeling too bad. I'm sitting here drinking my protein shake and just gonna recover. We did a really good Femi stretch session last night. So if you guys wanna join our stretch sessions, we do them every Wednesday at 5.30 Australian time. And yeah, it's all about like recovering for runners. So join us. I'm gonna sit here and just stretch and recover from that big block of training. And yeah, we've got three and a half weeks to the race. So stay tuned for what else is to come. Good morning. Um, yes, <laughs> I just put this bucket hat and I'm thinking about wearing it on my run, what do you reckon? I wonder if it would stay on, maybe. Um, I'm just getting ready for my long run. It is our last long run for the training block. We're three weeks out from Melbourne now and we are going up to three hours today, uh, going up to Eagle One, so we're going to get a bit on the trails a little bit and yeah, just cruise, like try and not push it too hard, but still three hours. It's a long way. <laughs> so I'm just packing up and getting ready. I've got my gels. I've got Morden, which I think I'm going to use for the race. So I'm just testing those out. So I've got those with me. I've got my protein. So because I'm driving, I take my protein with me so I can have it straight after the run. Electrolyte. So that's pure nutrition, electrolyte. I'm just going to fill this up with normal water. So I've got three liquids, three gels. And um, yeah, I'm ready to go around maybe 35 to 40 k. So I will try and take you guys with me I'm running with some of the boys so I might not be able to bring my phone because they're probably going to be running kind of fast. But yeah, and I will try out the bucket hat. I don't think I'm going to be able to run in it. Still got the bucket hat on. <laughs> I haven't started running yet. One. Just finished the 40Ks. Wow, it was like just under three hours. 40Ks, ran the first 35 with the boys and then they dropped off and I finished by myself, which was kind of nice just to like work at my own pace and mentally do that by myself. It was good. I have a lot of chafing and my legs are dead and I need to get home and just rest now. It was fun. I think that's all from me for now. I put my stats up from the week. Yeah, it's definitely been the biggest week I've had. So it's um, time to rest and recover with three weeks till race day. Pretty damn excited. One more thing I can confirm, I didn't wear the bucket hat. <laughs> I was very tempted, but no, it was actually really humid. So it was probably a good idea not to wear it today. <laughs> Sometime though. Is the total kilometers that I ran across the week you can see I ran 168.5 kilometers these were the workouts that I was doing throughout the week to make up that mileage and the mileage was split across 12 runs hi team I actually haven't been 
filming myself over the last couple of days because I have had a bit of a challenge. So long story short, I have had a hamstring tendinopathy for about five years and I've kind of just been managing it through strength training and some physio work and a couple of days ago I was out running with my friends and I tripped and unfortunately it aggravated my hamstring tendon where I overextended my hamstring really and it's just like really flatted up so I haven't been able to run yeah for a couple of days which I haven't taken a day off running in a very long time so it has been a bit of a challenge but that's okay I think it's definitely worth it well I think I know that it's definitely worth it and I need to take the time off so I've been sorry there's someone blowing leaves outside one moment hopefully this hopefully you can hear me better now <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I have been just resting, I've been ice bathing a lot, I've just been trying to let the tendon calm down and taking some anti-inflammatory, so I'm just like hoping that in a few days it's going to feel a lot better and I'm going to be able to get back into training because we've got, yeah, just over two weeks so it's not long at all to the marathon and I know these things happen and I've done all the training and like I know that my fitness is there, I just have to get to the start line feeling good and like allowing my body to feel good so it's just a waiting game at the moment I was pretty upset when it happened I tried to video when I got back after the injury happened but I just couldn't even talk to the camera yeah I'm I'm doing all good I'm just doing what I can to allow the body and the mind to relax a little and then hopefully get back into training and get the last couple of workouts in before race day so if you're wondering why I haven't been running that is why, yeah, fingers crossed that it all is good. But this is the life of being an athlete as well. Things like this sometimes just don't go to plan. And as much as you want to be able to control everything, you can't. And I am just like trying to send lots of positive energy to my body and to my mind and make sure that I'm looking after myself because that's my mental, physical health is more important than anything. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll keep you guys posted. I'm going to send off for this vlog because um, I was going to show you my last key marathon session, but obviously I couldn't do that. So maybe that'll be in the next vlog. Hopefully. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.